What's up you guys, Technoba here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Maplands. Maplands is a simple plugin that lets you take screenshots of the world in an isometric view and print them onto maps in game. If you don't know what that is yet, then you might find this plugin very interesting. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Maplands. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the BK Common Lib add-on to work properly. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Maplands is a very simple plugin to install and use. Once it's installed, I'll fly to an interesting position such as this one above the village here. The only command we need is slash map. This will take a screenshot of our current location and give us a map. The camera is always diagonally off of the image to give it a nice isometric look. This works really well with Minecraft. After we've taken an image, we can go ahead and customize it. Using the WASD keys, we can move the camera after taking the initial picture. Then we can hit crouch with the map in our hands to toggle the menu. Spacebar presses the button that we have selected and AND let us change what button we're currently on. The first two buttons let us zoom in and out and the last two buttons let us rotate the camera while keeping its current position. Remember where we took the picture? That's where the camera is. That being said, if we take a noticeable block like quartz, head down to the floor, build a tower and look at the map, you can see that it's already updated. Now that we know how to use it, how do we display it? Well, grabbing some item frames and placing them on a wall, we can place the map into item frames. Small, right? Well, we can make it bigger by simply placing more item frames and no, it doesn't have to be a perfect square or rectangle. As we place more maps into the frames, the image adjusts in size automatically. After it's placed on the wall, we can still use the map to reposition our image. The more item frames we place, the higher the field of view of our image will be and we can expand this as big as we want. The next question on your mind is how much lag would this plugin cause? Well, for smaller servers, it's not really something to worry about, but on larger servers, it may cause some entity lag as item frames count as entities. The bigger an image is, the longer it'll take to render, as in each time you change the camera's position with the map or make it bigger. After it's set up and left in place, it will likely cause very little lag. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The config folder has two files and a folder. Localization.yml usually contains all the text returned in chat, although this seems to be unused by the plugin. The cache folder contains images for the maps to work in game. Files in here are generated and managed by the plugin. Config.yml contains all the settings for the plugin. Because this plugin is very simple to use, it's rather bare with just a few settings. We can tell it to use a specific resource pack when rendering the maps. We can set the max number of milliseconds the plugin can spend rendering with the map in a single tick per map. We can even choose to disable cache, though this isn't recommended. And finally, we can change the color that the void appears as in our maps. We'll likely see a lot of it if players are taking pictures while in a dimension like the end or a skyblock world. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!